So um, what we are going to do is um, say, for example, if I'm starting, I'm going to uh, either make a sound with an instrument or with my voice, uh, just to uh, show what I'm feeling in this moment. And uh, as the sound, uh, John and Karen will will reflect with their body, and we'll we'll each take a turn. Okay, ready, Karen and John. Ready. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you passing it to, okay. Sima? Karen, will you next? Yes, sure. Okay. Okay, passing it to you, John. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And so um, what we're going to invite you to do is that um, what uh, those of us who have done the music process with Violet know that it's a very simple, the, the simpler the better, actually, to make it accessible for as many people as possible. Um, and in your breakout rooms, if you do the music and the movement, and then check in. This is what I was thinking of when I did this. So for me, it, it, I was thinking, I'm so excited to see everyone. I'm so excited. You know, that was sort of what <laughs> I was playing. And I don't know, Seema and John, what you were. I was, uh, I'm, I am a bit sleepy, so that's but I was think wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was waking up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so that's our quick check in, both with m movement and music <clears throat> and um, some mirroring, um, and then we're going to do max groups of four, um, and just pick who goes next. <clears throat> just pl be playful with this and then a quick check-in, and then we'll bring you back. So um, so how was the experience um, of checking in in this way? I have found it much more interesting, and, and also watching the body language is, yeah, I could see more than just concentrating on words. And even having different languages, it's easier to communicate in this way. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone else? I think it's wonderful to find each other, to, to connect and, and then um, come together in it. Mm -hmm. oh. Love that. And I, and I think the music, the, the notes or the, the movement all makes it easier to kind of talk about how you feel at the moment or kind of the background even. Yeah. I think it's, it's a non-verbal medium, which is very nice because it just gets, you know, when you get, you, you read the body, it's different than, than as you say, with the words, it's non-verbal. Yes, right. It's sort of the right brain, and then we're having you check in with the left brain, put some words to it. Um, and for me, I wasn't sure what I would say, but once I did this, then I then I was like, oh, this is this is what I would say about how I'm feeling. So it sort of helped me with the words. Um, exposed and deploy my creativity. Yeah, it, you, you know, um, it's a vulnerable 
thing to just sort of move uh, in that sort of funny, silly way, right? Um, and one of the things I was, we were talking about, and I'll just speak for myself, is that I don't see myself as musically inclined. <laughs> and others might say that about me too, but I'll just say I would say that about myself. And um, Mahatma made that point. I put it in the email uh, to everyone that Violet said, and maybe it was someone else who said there's no such thing as a wrong <clears throat> note. It was um, Rob Payton who says that. And I think the other thing he says, and this is parallel to what I think Violet would say, is that music making involves trust. So I'm not gonna, you're not gonna open your mouth or make a sound if you think you're gonna be disrespected or received badly. So yeah, it, it is more exposing in that way. So we, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But so, and, and so now I really enjoy using it in the, in the trainings um, and also in my practice because I have that permission and feel the safety, um, mm -hmm. as you're saying, John. <clears throat> 